hi James, now we're looking at module four, which is about mergers and collaborations. What does this module cover? Well, this module doesn't actually look at the contract. What it looks at is issues that arise from the new contracting environment. That contracting environment is putting pressure on organisations to deliver services in a wider range of areas. Now, one way of doing that is collaboration. But people frequently underestimate the amount of sheer hard work collaborations are. It really is not an easy option. This module looks at some of the issues there. Another way of achieving that uh, greater range of services is merger. And many organisations are very committed to being independent, but increasingly this contracting environment will push them towards considering that. For charities, there's clear guidance from the Charity Commission urging them to look at merger as an issue. And this module looks at some of the models of merger and other ways of working together. So could you say a bit more about the different types of collaborative working? Well, firstly, um, let's look at collaboration rather than merger. Um, there are a range of ways in which people can collaborate. Very often people say, we're in partnership with someone. That doesn't tell you very much. What you need is to unpack that and select from among the uh, palette of different ways you could do it, the right way forward. So a simple way is to have a lead organisation who then subcontracts to the partners in the partnership. An alternative is to create a special purpose vehicle and for that vehicle to take on the work and then pass the work out to the partners. Whatever you do, whether it's one of those structures or something simpler with simply a coordinating committee, you need to document it carefully to ensure that it works well. Remember, you've got to apportion risk as well using these mechanisms. We'd also, in this section, deal with merger. And merger itself is a word which describes a range of ways of taking things forward. So it's possible to merge by one organisation absorbing another. Often that's unattractive, so the two organisations agree that they will form a third organisation, a new company, and themselves be merged into it, which often overcomes political uh, objections to that. Another way forward is for an organisation to become a subsidiary of another. Sometimes that's called a group structure, Group structure can be a holding company under which a series of organisations work together as subsidiaries of the holding company, delivering a broad range of services, but within one group. So what issues should organisations consider when looking at collaborations? Well, you'll only be doing a collaboration if you see clear benefits. So you've got to identify what these clear benefits are. They might be cost savings, they might be offering a broader range of services to meet the Tier 1 uh, contract requirements, or they might be offering a bigger geographical spread. Remember that the, the uh, Tier 1s are now going to be covering larger geographical areas than previously, and you may not have the capacity to deliver across the whole contract area. The second issue really is due diligence. Any form of collaboration or merger means you have to get to know your potential partners well. And there are a range of areas from culture and personalities, um, what's the roles of the CEOs in this new organisation or collaborative organisation, right the way through staff issues and historic problems. So it's very important to deal with all those. Finally, it's worth saying that you have to look at tax. Um, tax can arise in a range of circumstances, but for example, if you have a collaborative group, there's likely to be payments between the parties in the group. How will they be treated for VAT purposes? Will that cause any problems? And perhaps, finally one should say, that if you're looking at collaboration rather than merger, you have to think about exit and ending. What happens at the end of this process? What happens to assets? What happens to staff? And a whole range of linked issues.